API Management, Episode 4, API Best Practices. Hi, I'm Alistair Farkerson, the CTO of SOA Software, and I'm going to talk today about API best practices and what makes a good API. The way that we see it is that APIs have a life cycle, and that life cycle starts, like many do, with planning. And planning is potentially the most important stage of this entire life cycle. You have to decide which APIs to publish, the APIs need to be well-defined and well-scoped. Most importantly, though, they need to deliver clear business value. The APIs really have to highlight and showcase your differentiators as a company, and they have to offer your potential consumer with a clear business value and reason for using it. Your APIs need to offer cost benefits over your competitors, or they need to be functionally richer or offer something that your competitors do not. Once the API has been planned and approved and it's appropriately scoped, you then need to build the API. The API needs to be well documented, it needs to be atomic, and it needs to be simple. What's going to really encourage a developer is to make an API easy to understand. If a developer needs to spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to use your API, if it's overly complex, if it's poorly documented, then that's going to give your developer a very negative impression and it's going to give them, uh, or it's going to increase or decrease their confidence in uh, using that API, and they might decide to, to, to use an alternative. So I think that building a, the, the API appropriately, making sure it's documented well, and making sure that it is, um, is, is correctly scoped is, is vital. Once you've built your API, of course, you have to run it. And in running your API, you have to make sure that it's secure, you have to make sure that it's robust, and you have to make sure that it's managed. So you need to provide the developers the feedback that the API is doing what it's supposed to be doing. And you need to provide them with the confidence that it's going to stay up in, uh, you know, at, at all times and make sure that the developer keeps that confidence going and make sure that they are uh, you know, happy with the way that this API is going to be performing and that they are confident that the API is going to uh, secure their customer data. Once the API is running, you need to promote it. So how can you as an organization create a market for this API? How can you market it to a set of consumers, a set of developers out there writing applications? To do this, you really have to create a community around your API. You need to uh, create a, a, a community of partners, certainly, which potentially will provide value add to your services and your APIs, but you also need to provide a community where your developers can collaborate with each other. Those developers also need to be able to effectively find your APIs. There needs to be a developer's portal where they can get access to the documentation and where they can uh, collaborate around developing their applications. If they go to Google, they expect to be able to find your APIs. They expect your documentation to be indexed. And they possibly expect to be able to socialize your APIs through traditional social interactions. Last of all, you need to be able to support the API effectively. As the developers write in their API, they, they're going to run into problems, and they need to be able to come somewhere to get help and to get expertise and advice. So when you launch your API, make sure that you also have a community and community forums and trouble ticket management systems and experts available to answer their questions. I think also importantly, you need these developers to be able to collaborate with each other around support issues to lower the burden on your own support organization over time. As you build up a knowledge base and as, as you build up uh, you know, your, your, your forums around your APIs, your, your, developers, your developer community is going to come to you less and less as they run into people who have already solved problems or have already overcome certain issues. The other thing you need to do is, is, is seed the community with, with, with experts that uh, can uh, help if needed, um, that can uh, drive credibility for your organization and can certainly keep their ear to the ground uh, listening for potential upgrades and improvements and enhancements to the API set that you offer. Thank you for listening to episode 4 in our series.